spreadsheet is wiki models. I did this on the Monday night workshop and the video was just posted to YouTube but it hasn't been linked to the Tiddly Wiki yet. So probably you guys haven't seen it, um, which is reasonable. Um, and, but I, I do want to kind of go over this. Has anybody played with this model yet? With the spreadsheets? Anybody played with this? Okay. So let's, let's kind of play together, um, play along. Um, and um, we'll get somebody else in the meeting, but what this does um, is very different than green eggs and ham in some respects, okay? In green eggs and ham, you're starting with an existing text and you're hypertextualizing it or tiddly weakifying it, okay? They're, those words are very similar to me. Hypertextualize means add the capabilities of hypertext, linking, tagging, primarily transcluding um, with an existing text in the four by four, the, the, in the spreadsheet model, you're going to create the text and then tiddly weakify. So it really takes you to a different, it, it, you start with a different point. Um, so if you bring that up and you um, open up the tutorial spreadsheet, oops, that's the tutorial, sorry. Um, open up the Google Sheets template and I'm going to go ahead and open up this Google Sheets. I'm going to full screen this, um, full screen my, so um, Josh, I'm going to, you, you'll see on the screen that I'm not going to be able to see any of your comments there. So um, you'll have to get my attention some other way. Um, you can chat with James or something like that. James, maybe you open up a chat with um, Josh Parkinson in case he's got a question because I'm not going to be watching that. Um, you can just use the chat and the Zoom. Yeah, but I don't see that either. I'm just like incapable of paying attention to that many things. Um, so let's take a look at this and talk a little bit about what it means. And I, again, I did this on Monday night. This is a bit of a repeat, but I think it's worth doing. Um, so you guys can, this should be shared to you. So you should be able to get the spreadsheet yourself, make a copy, yeah. We didn't do this on Monday. We didn't. No, we did the flicker. Oh, I recorded this myself and shared the video with you. There's a tutorial video that I recorded this, but now I'll have audience who can say, I don't get it. It's view only. <sighs> yeah, I only have view only on both my emails. Yeah, okay, view only, but make a copy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, view, definitely it's view only. You're not messing with my stuff. But make a copy um, in the spirit of the tiddly wiki. You can view everything you want and make as many copies as you want. Okay. Um, so here's the design, right? Got it? Okay. So in this case, I want to talk about, um, ultimately I'm trying to make these 16 objects, where each of the 16 objects are defined by two dimensions. Okay, um, so let's pick something else and let's make a whole nother set. And I'll kind of walk through this whole thing in tandem and then in the next, um, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, we'll have a whole new Tiddly Week and you can all follow along in your own hymns. Okay? Um, so somebody give me some objects that they're working with. Um, Kira, you're working with plants these days, right? Yes. Okay, let's do Kira. Uh, so tell me something about plants, a dimension of plants. Like, are there different, I don't know anything about plants. Yeah. Are there different types? Are there different colors? Are there different sizes? It's tall, it's large, small, wide. Well. Yeah, no, she's like a plant person. I, I want real plant stuff. So you you, they're, you they're take pictures of plants, right? Yeah, sometimes. Other things too. Yeah. Okay. Well, flower, leaf, um, stem, root. Okay, flower, leaf, stem, root. So let's, I'll, I'll stick this in here. We've got flower leaf, stem, root, okay. Um, what are those? 
flower leaf stem root are all attributes of the dimension called what? Plant parts? Yeah. They're not colors. No. You want to call them parts? Yeah. Okay. Part. Give me another one. I think what would go with that. Doesn't, well, so you've got flower leaf stem root. Are there different plant names, different plant species? Oh, yeah. Name four species. We do the ones I've done. Okay. Rose. Rose. Garlic mustard. What is it? Garlic mustard. Garlic mustard. Wood sorrel. Say that again. Wood sorrel. Sorrel. S O R R E L. Wood sorrel. Yeah. Doll's eyes. Spell. D O L L apostrophe S E Y E S. Doll's eyes. Yeah, it's poisonous. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to skip the apostrophe because that's just going to ruin my day. And I'm having a good day so far. Okay. And what are those? They're plants. Species. Species? Yeah. Okay. So what that does is set you up to compare flower rows to leaf rows to stem rows to root rows. Or flower garlic mustard to leaf garlic mustard, right? Mm -hmm. um, you might want them flipped, like the name of the plant first, right? That would make more sense. Okay, so um, I'm going to be lazy and retype instead of change all my formulas. So um, this is the thing Cassandra likes most, jump cut. Okay, so I copy, copy, and it's in my buffer. I'm going to go up a line, and now I'm going to paste the flower names up there and paste the flower parts there. Okay, and what do we call them? Parts? And I lost my color, so that's like a bummer. I love color. So I'm gonna yellow it, and then I'm gonna light yellow this. Okay, so now we've got rose flower, rose leaf, rose stem, rose root. And so what we've got is this notion that sitting here in this array, if you're a math folks, you remember, you know what an array is. Even if you're not a math folks, you might know what an array is. It's like a, um, this, in this case, it's a four by four array. And you should be able to navigate left and right, up and down. Okay, so we want to create something that allows you to have, in this case, maybe pictures or descriptions or texts. So I'm sitting in garlic mustard. mustard leaf, and I want to see other leaves. I could go to look at the rose leaf, I can look at the wood sorrel leaf, or I can look at the doll's eye leaf. Or I'm sitting on wood sorrel leaf, and I want to see other wood sorrel parts. I can look at wood sorrel flowers, leaves, stem, and root. Okay, so you kind of have that notion of how that Array might work. Okay. Um, so down here, I'm beginning to think of what my tiddly wiki is going to look like. So I'm actually, I'm in spreadsheets. I'm still in a Google Sheet. I'm writing some code. I want to have a tag for rows, tag rows. And what's that look like when you get to tiddly wiki and you type tag rows in a tiddly wiki? What's that do? It puts rows in a little pillbox. Have you seen the pillbox term before? It's that little thing that surrounds a tag. Josh is, that's why I need audience, because I can look at Josh, see that little look in his eyes. And say, I don't know what you're talking about when I said pillbox, and now I can respond. But if we're just talking to my screen, I think, you know, this is a pillbox. Okay. Not Josh, Tyler. Yeah, whatever. He's like, I can't see Josh. Here's my pillbox. This is a tag. And if I click on a pillbox tag, it gives me all the tiddlers that are listed there that are tagged to it. And if I go back to here, 
ultimately I'm going to be able to click on rows. It's going to be in that little pillbox, and these, all the tiddlers that are tagged to rows will be listed there. Okay, so I'm going to make this table ultimately with tags in the column head, tags in the row heads, and in the cells of my TiddlyWiki table are going to be transcluded tiddlers. The contents of the tiddler called rose flower or rose leaf or garlic mustard leaf or wood sorrel leaf. Okay, so how do I do that? Um, there are detailed instructions which are annoying and I try not to make such detailed instructions. I'm gonna um, close my, uh, who's the majigger there? And I'm going to um, put my spreadsheet to the left and my instructions to the right. Um, and we're right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to create your own dimensions. We did that. We did plants and plant parts or plant species. Copy the entire first sheet. Sheet labeled tiddly tables. Copy the entire first sheet into your buffer. Okay, I select the whole sheet. Copy, it's in my buffer. Okay, and then it says paste into the box at spreadsheet to tiddly table conversion tool. Okay, that's annoyance, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So you have to go to this tool, hmm. maybe. Come on, press harder. Oh, sorry, it just opens up a new tiddler and then you have to go to the tool, <laughs> duh. <laughs> okay, um, I wish this worked in TiddlyWiki 5, it doesn't. I've been playing with it for years, well, a year or two, trying to get it to work and I've given up. So what you're actually seeing here is one of my old TiddlyWiki. This is TiddlyWiki Classic, and it works. So I paste the whole spreadsheet, and I hit Translate, and all it does, it's not that it's, because you don't want to do this by hand, is it puts those vertical, vertical bars in between each cell. Then I can copy this whole everything in that box to my buffer. I'm gonna go back to my design right and click translate, we did that. And um, copy the contents of the box into a new tiddler. Looks like we need a new tiddler. I need this, I need my uh, And we're gonna call this um, Tiddly Tables Demo with Plants. Um, watch the um, workshop video. So I'm gonna, I'll put the link to the workshop video in a little bit later. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make it a Tiddler so that I know that it's, you know, it's there. And close my menu again so we have some width. And now I'm gonna paste into the buffer um, that table. And so what that does is um, using the Tiddly Wiki table formatting approach, which is pretty straightforward, but a little different than HTML. There's no, if you know HTML, there's the TR, TD, you guys know HTML a little bit? It's, it's pretty crazy. It's tables are, yeah, and I don't want to know what she says, right? So in TiddlyWiki, how do you make a table? You start with the vertical bar, cell one, put another vertical bar in there, type cell two, put another vertical bar in there, type cell three, and hit return, and it makes it a table. Hmm? Why can't everything be like that? Why can't HTML be like that? Well, it's because it's HTML, <laughs> and so what TiddlyWiki does, and, and the reason that we use it, and really, this is the reason we use it is that it's like this. I don't, I'm not teaching HTML. I don't want you guys to 
have to think about TRs, TDs, and slash TDs, and slash TRs, and slash tables. I want you to think fairly simply. So a couple vertical bars, you got a table. It's good to go. And then you can spend your time thinking about what the table should look like rather than did I get the TRs and TDs correct. Um, so let's look at the table that we made. And I've got two minutes. I promised I would do much more. But okay, so now we can, if you go back to the um, spreadsheet, here's the first one, right? Here's the second one. It's a link to Rose Flower, but there's nothing there because we haven't created it. But you can click on it and you can type in the tiddler, um, what is Rose Flower? look like you know geez give me a break what does the flower of a rose look like um, save it and now this is no longer italics okay because it exists and interestingly enough we hope the contents of the the contents of the tiddler rose flower are now displayed in the third table because I've transcluded that tiddler by enclosing it inside a double squiggly bracket, double curly braces. Okay, so this is a, this technique demonstrates a pretty quick ramp up to make a fairly sophisticated little tool from a spreadsheet. And it's supposed to give you the sense of, okay, this is how these tiddlers can relate to each other. This is how I can create a, sick, a set of 16 tiddlers that are cross tagged in two dimensions. Okay, so here if I click on rows, all the other, there's nothing tagged to rows because we didn't build tags into it yet. Okay, um, and that's in the next part. Okay, so there's nothing here. Oh, oh, but that's left over from my, from my demo because I used the same word flower. So that's why this is sort of weird, okay? Um, so the next step, and this is a little more complex. If you don't mind, I'm gonna change um, flower to um, flowers, okay? Um, oops, flowers, that should have, it goes here and that propagated through the whole spreadsheet. I'm gonna copy this again. Edit the wiki, titler demo with, come on. I have to translate it. Copy it back to my wiki and paste it and save it and now we've got rose flowers and there should be nothing linked to flowers so it's good okay um running a little late so i'm going to come back this is very funky okay oh, and wow. what's that oh, wow. this is interesting not required but will really help you in the second half of the semester. This is a way of, instead of writing tiddlers, tiddler by tiddler by hand, you can create them in a spreadsheet, okay? So a tiddler is really nothing but, and James made this point last week, TiddlyWiki is really nothing but a, he said it's a simple database, I say it's a fancy database, okay? So a tiddler is a record in a database that has different fields. If you know database at all, like a, there's a table and there's fields, so what do tiddlers have? They have titles, they have tags, they have text. And in this case, they're gonna have image URLs. Okay, so I just created this and you can follow through, you know, this. you can make your own here once you learn a little spreadsheet work. Um, How'd you get to the spreadsheet? This is in the same spreadsheet at the very bottom. Um, there's two tabs or two sheets in the Google Sheet, one called Tiddly Tables, one called Tiddlers. Okay, and of course they all update, you know, it's all flowing from these words, these eight words drive everything else in this whole spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you come up with species and parts. And then what I did here is, these are my pictures, okay? Um, I shared each one of these images. Oh, look, it happens to be a rose. 
it was my red flower, okay? I shared each of these images to Dropbox and I did the work to get them all live. So this is my blue flowers. These are my, this is, this is my blue, blue truck. Come on. Yeah. Does this work if you have more than two variables? Yes, it does. There's my blue truck, okay? So the color, the images are obviously gonna be off, but I just wanna do this demo. I s take the whole sheet, I file, download as comma separated values, okay, and these the instructions there, I'm gonna download as comma separated values, I'm gonna open it with my text edit, okay, there's my file, I'm gonna copy the entire file, go back to my design right, Um, do I remember where we were? We're down here. Um, the next exercise, import tiddlers from CSV. This is the optional one. But you should do it, because it would be cool. Um, go to the CSV to JSON converter tool. This is the one that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, paste my input, which is that CSV file. Um, looks good. Um, download the result to a file. Stays, hi. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. So we're in the middle of a demo, which is oh. in a place, and you're watching. So we'll be there in one second. I'm going to see no if the convert JSON. Um, so this is demo plants dot convert JSON dot. Got to make sure you save it someplace that you can get to it. Okay, I'm going to save it and back to my design right. And if this works, I'll be so happy. And sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and I can't figure out why it does sometimes and others not. So I'm going to click this import um, paper clip. And it worked. Um, except I took the wrong files. That's annoying. Hopefully those have not been imported. I don't think they were because I didn't ask it to import, so I'm going to try that again. Um, import tiddlers from CSV. I'm looking for, oh, I have to do the, I know what I'm doing, sorry. So I'm going to try the import again, and I want demo plants. Not JSON. It's still the wrong file. So let's try this one more time. I think what I did is I didn't clear the input on this tool. Clear the input. Paste it. And hit CSV to JSON. Now we've got species, download the result, save the file, and give it the same name, replace it, back to design right. You guys will be so impressed if this works, right? Uh, paper clip. I don't know exactly why I'm still getting Ken Crosby's CSV in my thing, but I'm going to live with it anyway. I'm going to import it all, and now we should be able to get to garlic mustard, which now should have a set of tags to the rest. Okay, and some of them have pictures, some of them don't, but now we can get to the other stems. And so what this, obviously the pictures are not right? Um, and so what that shows you is a way to begin to work with two dimensions, four by four, and I will share a spreadsheet in which I've built it out in three dimensions in an eight by eight matrix.